Oh yeah. <laughs> hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and if you're new here, we like exploring creative ways to use ordinary materials so you can finish your DIY projects easier and faster. We share customer builds, inspiration, tips and tricks, and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you're interested, definitely consider subscribing. We appreciate it. Last week, we rounded up five different flanges that you can make for EMT conduit that all use this off-the-shelf galvanized threaded plumbing flange. We had a lot of comments asking for strength testing, and we appreciate the feedback on the video. We spent the past week testing the different flange designs to find out how much weight they could handle before bending or pulling out. We were surprised by the results, and we found the best method for all-around strength. Stick around to the end of the video to hear our final recommendations. We've never done testing like this before, but this rig that we built should give you a rough idea of what to expect from the flanges. We use cables, pulleys, and a come along to add force and tension to the flanges. And then we use this tester that allows you to pull from both directions. And then it gives you a readout of how much weight was being applied whenever it stopped detecting force. It maxes out at 600 pounds because we didn't expect the flanges to handle that much weight. We were actually shocked by the results. Do not try this at home. This was simply a testing rig that we made for this video and your entertainment. We tested all five designs, including the simple threading method, the two off-the-shelf coupler designs, and the community flange. We also tested the reinforcement hack that works with the first three designs. Most builds with flanges will require two different kinds of strength. Projects mounted to the ceiling will need pull-out strength, and projects mounted to the wall, like shelves, will need bending strength. So we tested the pull out and bend strength of each flange design. A couple of things to remember when building with these flanges. Number one is the fact that we were testing weight or force directly applied to a single flange. Most likely your project is gonna have multiple flanges, which is gonna more evenly distribute the weight, giving you more security and strength. Secondly, I wanna mention that all of the bending tests, we used a foot of pipe sticking out of the flange, which means if you use longer spans in your project, then you're gonna give up strength and you should add reinforcement where necessary. First, we tested the pullout strength of the flange designs, and all but two of them maxed out the tester at 600 pounds. That's maxed out. The conduit threaded method and the compression fitting flange both failed before they reached the max weight. But with the reinforcement hack, they both reached the max weight easily. In the name of science, we did remove the tester and crank the come along until the flanges failed, which resulted in some pretty interesting carnage. It took quite a bit of force on all the flanges to cause them to fail, which is very encouraging. We were expecting maybe one or two of the flanges to be able to handle the 600 pounds, but the fact that almost all of them reached it easily and went even above 600 pounds was really surprising and cool to see. And that brings us to our first recommendation. If all your build needs is pull out strength, then I would personally recommend the flange design that uses a set screw coupler with a self-tapping screw into the conduit. This method did arguably the best when we removed the tester and cranked until failure. All right, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. I hear the wood creaking. And even though this flange design maxed out the tester and then some, I would still recommend using the reinforcement hack just because that added extra security is gonna be well worth it. And again, that's my recommendation for pull out strength only. The bending test had different results. For the bending test, we use a similar rig that applied the force upwards. This allowed us to see how much weight it would take to bend the flanges. All of the flange designs, except for one, started bending pretty early on at around 40 to 50 pounds of force. The best results for bending came out of the compression fitting flange design combined with the reinforcement hack on the back. This design handled around double the weight before it started to bend. So again, if you need strength in both directions, I would recommend the compression fitting design combined with the reinforcement hack. This will give you the best all around strength. To learn how to put these flanges to use in your next project, you can watch the tutorial video here. We are really happy with the results and excited to see how you guys use these flanges in your projects. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.